What's up party people, Android Stud here. And today I have the Pocophone F1 and I wanted to show you how to manually update to the newest firmware Android Pie on the Pocophone F1. And that is the latest and greatest, the 10.2.2.0 that comes with the new 960 frames per second for your video camera and also night or low light mode for your camera shots so that you can get those nice shots at night on your camera. But a lot of people have been asking, Listen, man, you forgot to tell us how to install it on your video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this video. I'm gonna show you how to install it. So I'm gonna do you guys a solid and show you guys how to do it. Now, it's real easy to do. Now, I don't believe you need to be rooted or have an unlocked bootloader to do this. I could be wrong. Leave a comment down below if I am wrong, but I don't believe you have to be rooted. I do have an unlocked bootloader just so that you guys know but I am not rooted at this point. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is I will leave a link down to the video in the video or a link down in the description for this file that you need to flash for the updater. So the first thing we got to do is we got to go get the file. So we got, I'm going to go to my, my video here, the Pocophone F1 MIUI 10.2.2 zero stable update Android Pie. And you're gonna see one that says OTA file, and you're gonna see one that says full ROM. Now the full ROM is for people that use a custom recovery or twerp, or they do a lot of custom ROMs, so they wanna try this out or flash this on their phone. That's something I do, but most people don't do that. What we're gonna do is one that we're gonna do it through the system on the Poco phone. So we're gonna do the OTA file. So you're simply just gonna click on this download. It's gonna take you. Then it's gonna say to save zip, you hit okay and it's gonna start the download. Now, while it's downloading, you're gonna go out and then you're gonna go into settings. You're gonna go to about phone and then you're gonna go to system update right there. And then once you're in system update, it's gonna bring up this screen here. Now, you're gonna see this three prongs right here at the top right, three dots. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna get this menu here. Now, just a warning, when you download to 10.2.2.0, this menu is gonna change, and I'm gonna show you in this video. Hopefully I don't forget, LOL, you know what I mean. But for some reason, I'm not sure how we're gonna manually update in the future, but right now we can manually update to 10.2.2.0, okay? So, as you can see, I am on 10.1.3.0 stable, okay? So you're gonna go to the dot here, and then you're gonna, you got a different options here. Download update, choose update package, auto updates, reboot the recovery mode, what's new, private policy. You don't need anyone except that choose update package. So you're gonna do that and it's gonna pull up like a file manager. And then you're gonna go into your download folder cause that's where the file is gonna go that you downloaded from my video. Now I'll leave that file down in this video so you'll be able to do it from here. Now, there's four of them in here because I, I've downloaded a couple of them because I've been doing some practicing to make sure that it downloads. So you're gonna go ahead and choose that one that, that goes from 10.1.3.0 to 10.2.2.0. So you're gonna go ahead and choose that. And then once you choose it, it's gonna turn blue. And then you're gonna hit OK here on the bottom. And once it hits OK, it's gonna be getting info. So then it's gonna ask you, your device will reboot automatically to update to MIUI version 10.2.2 from 10.1.3.0. That's a lot of points in this video, let me tell you. So you're gonna hit reboot and update. And once it's doing that, it's gonna be decrypting all the file. And then it's gonna reboot and it's gonna put the new system on your phone and we'll be having the latest and greatest on our Poco phone. F1, which is 10.2.2.0 that comes with the 960 frames per second and also the low light mode and the night mode. So once this is done installing, we're gonna come back and check it out. All right, so we're back now. There's a couple things. Make sure when that is updating, you do not turn your phone off. I mean, it tells you on the screen but you wanna make sure you do not turn your phone off while that is updating. That is very important. The other thing too, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm gonna mention it again, 
is make sure that you're on Wi-Fi when you're doing this process. Obviously, if you download the file, um, you're probably on Wi-Fi, but you should be on Wi-Fi if you're doing that. And the other thing is make sure you have enough battery, you know, 50 to 60 percent um, so that you're able to do this whole entire process. So let's check it out. We're going to see if we have updated to the newest firmware. We will check that out. Let's go into system here. And then you'll see here that we are on the latest and greatest 10.2.2.0 stable. That's right. That is a cool thing. Now, let's check this out. When you go to the three dots here, ha <laughs> ha, the menu has changed. It has download latest package, update settings, what's new, more. When you hit more, it's nothing but a menu for feedback and private policy. And then when you go into what's new, that's obviously what's new. You get the newest security patch, nine, and then the 960 frames per second, low light mode. And then when you go in here into update settings, it just has a menu here for download automatically, mobile data, but nothing really to do it manually like we just did. So things have changed a little bit. So um, that's interesting. If you go into your camera here, you're gonna have, obviously have your night mode here. If you go here, you see your night mode is there in effect. And then if you go to video, you're gonna get your your um, 60 frames per second if you go to slow-mo there it is at the top 60 frames per second so it is a go we have updated officially but i will repeat it again make sure you have enough battery make sure you connect it to wi-fi and make sure you do not stop this process once it's installing on the black screen or you will have some issues i guarantee you that That'll do it. I'm so glad I was able to do this video because I really wanted to show you guys how to manually update your device to the newest and greatest. And you could do this with basically any update, hopefully. I'm not sure what they're going to do with that menu. That's kind of freaky how they um, change the menu on us. But hopefully um, we'll still be able to manually update it somehow. If I find out how, I will let you guys know. I'll probably do a video. But you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Android Stud. That'll do it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please be part of the party, people. Down below, like this video. Join the crew. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the feedback and comments and all those thumbs up you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate it. That's going to do it, man. Enjoy your Puckle phone. I'll see you guys later.